Pride Month is a thing that I forgot even was happening until last night, actually. Just about an hour before <laughs> June 1st began, I noticed on social media that it was happening and was taken off guard because I have not been paying attention, which is silly because I'm on social media all the time, but it just, it slipped through the cracks. But that means nothing to the way I am observing this month. Pride Month is not slipping through the cracks on this project. I know it has in the past. I know I have run away, very far away from topics regarding this community for a very long time because I've been afraid to talk about it. I've been afraid to express opinions about it or to really just in general even talk about it outside of this project with anyone that I didn't know for sure agreed with me on my opinions about it. Because it is one of the most inflammatory topics in my family, and I know this because I used to think the same way that a lot of those people in my family do. That's no excuse, because I don't think that way anymore. And based on the way that I perceive Jesus's life and teachings, it is absolutely irresponsible of me as a person who would like to consider myself an ally of any kind for this community to not say anything. That says nothing about... It says nothing about my personal experiences with this topic. It says nothing about anything besides I no longer have an excuse or a reason to stay quiet. It's irresponsible. That's all it is. The past couple of weeks, specifically the past several days, I have been in a lot of circumstances where my thoughts on this topic have needed to be stronger and my willingness to stand up for somebody or to support somebody or to know what my belief is on this topic has been it's been a pressing need <laughs> and without going into detail on anything regarding those situations, it has wrenched my heart apart too many times to shut up again after so many times of choosing to shut up about it. I care too much to pretend that I don't. I love some people too much to pretend that this isn't an important subject to, subject to me. And the fact that my heart is currently <laughs> in thousands of pieces because of other people's pain in situations means that I am dedicating time this month to speaking up. And I realized that this project started as one of speaking up and it wandered from there for a very long time because I got tired. And I can't be tired anymore because I care too much. 
to be tired without still pushing forward. Because of that, be prepared. <laughs> Be prepared for me to be more vocal than I have been, more bold than I have been, and more afraid than I have been. I know I'm going to be afraid because I am. I am making this video and what, like four people are going to see it? There have been countless times that I have thought to myself in the last two days as I have had most of this time entirely by myself. I have thought over and over, you gotta stop being complacent. This matters keep telling myself that. Except the last couple of days me telling myself that has meant something way different than it did in the past when I would say things that were scolding myself for being silent. Because those other times my heart wasn't broken. I wasn't desperately striving to try to shoulder somebody else's hurt for even a couple of seconds. But I am now. <laughs> and you better believe I have the fire beneath me that equals the pain I've been carrying for other people and for myself because it's impossible not to hurt when you see other people hurt that much. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> Buckle up. It's gonna be gonna be a time.